Alrighty, so today I wanted to talk about Zeldris. I have been thinking about it more lately. I, I would like to just do some sort of like discussion kind of videos. So I'm not necessarily going to be like showcasing the character or anything like that, but I genuinely think that as cool of a character as Zeldris is, I think he might be the most shafted character <laughs> in all of Grand Cross. And the reason that I say that is because Zeldris, whenever he originally came out on JP, uh, I'm pretty sure the blue Zeldris came out and then they later added the red Zeldris to the coin shop or maybe it was vice versa, but whenever he came out on Global, they released blue and red Zeldris as a double, like, combo banner where they were both on it together and then obviously Red Zelda still got added to the coin shop so you didn't necessarily have to pull for him you could get him in the coin shop later if you wanted to um, but the blue Zelda was really really interesting ironically I have him the least powered up out of all of my Zelda units and the reason for that is because um one, he was only really useful before Super Awakening came out, so I didn't even have to have him Super Awakened at the time. But uh, he is a very crit-based unit. If you don't know, his passive is increases the hero's crit damage by 30% for each orb removed from the hero's ultimate move gauge, which sounds pretty good. You know, crit damage is pretty important. His stats are, you know... Uh, pretty old now. He has 174% base crit chance right here, uh, and that's obviously it's the game has progressed quite a bit since this character was even relevant. So this is pretty high considering we're now level 100. I still have a couple of Super Awakening stars that I could give him, uh, and then his crit chance is only 73%. I'm pretty sure it's lower if you uh, if you take away some of the levels and stuff like that that he had. Uh, or that he would, uh, he can't have when he came out. Uh, but the problem is, is the character is very crit based, and he just he the, there was like a huge meme. The character can't crit. He has a spike card, two times crit damage. He has a despair card. You heal whenever you crit, and then his ultimate, uh, which is the same for the red Zeldris, is a spike card as well, two times crit damage. But he can't crit. So yeah, he uh, he's a, obviously a commandment. So or the older ones are commandments. So he has um, you know deplete one ultimate move gauge orb uh, and remove debuffs when moving a skill. This can still be decent. It's not that bad. Moving deep or removing debuffs and everything by moving a skill and everything is kind of nice. And the fact that you lose an ultimate move gauge orb when you move a skill is actually really good to counter like ult rushing teams and stuff like that. But the problem is, is that the only reason this like commandment is even decent now is because you can actually run commandments on the new Meliodas if they're a link. Whereas, you know, prior to that, like for the last, I would say, two years or more, uh, having this character on the field is probably not worth your time. <laughs> like, it's he really just isn't worth having on there. He does have a holy relic now. I think this was a dog's relic. Or no, I think this is actually a Nidhogg relic, I think. Uh, because he's a demon, I think they started adding the, the Zeldris, or like the demon relics, whenever we got Nidhogg. But uh, the blue Zeldris, I think, has always been the weaker of the two. The red Zeldris is actually pretty good, considering that you can get him from the coin shop if you just have extra coins to exchange for him, which is cool and all. Um, and the fact that he, you know, he can be used in the backliner, he can boost, you know, stats and stuff, that's pretty helpful. And he has an ultimate move gauge deplete, which is pretty useful to have on the field. Um, these disable recovery skills are just obsolete now that I can't even remember the last... The, the one unit that I can think of that even has a recovery skill is... Um, Shuna, but uh, I think more recently we did get the green Elat, who technically has a recovery skill, but for the most part, no relevant characters are even using recovery skills, uh, and, you know, it just doesn't make any sense to really try to restrict those. Uh, the skill itself can do some okay damage. It has a 220%, you know, attack modifier on it, which is okay, and his ultimate can do some pretty decent damage, so he's not terrible, but for the most part, you know, he's just really old. There's not really a great reason to run him. I, I mean, if anything, some of these older units can be used as decent links. And then we finally ended up getting the green Zeldris, which actually people hated on his initial release. He ended up becoming a little bit more of a support character. He does have a cleave card, which I do really like cleave, but it just wasn't really all that great and then he has a dissolve skill that doesn't even do damage uh but it can restrict ultimate moves at level two which is good utility don't get me wrong it's actually really helpful but it wasn't until people found out that you could run keo on the field with mon speed and then this zeldris in the back that he even started to remotely gain traction um with like being useful in pvp 
Whereas nowadays, there's a lot more like debuff related teams that you can sort of just spam debuffs on the enemies. He can be an okay backliner. He's not that bad. He's obviously getting a little bit dated. He is uh, he is quite old at this point. He does have a Holy Relic, which will help boost his CC and everything. But uh, for the most part, like I think people just really wanted like a really nice DPS Zeldris, and this character was definitely not that. He can't, like I said, he can do some decent damage under like good circumstances and everything. If you're running a good team and everything, his cleave card can actually do some really good stuff. I I even used him on Belmoth for a little while as my DPS unit because you could one shot a phase with his level 3 cleave card. It was really, really good. And then we got Ominous Nebula Zeldris. Uh, actually, before we talk about that, the uh, they did end up giving this Zeldris a different commandment, which actually I thought was kind of interesting. I feel like this one is one that don't people don't really even use. So if a critical strike occurs from a skill use, decrease crit chance and crit damage of the target by 10% each, which is actually pretty interesting. And it's very helpful, I guess, the fact that he's running a cleave card. It doesn't matter if he's, uh, you know, lowering crit chance and everything because he's not going to crit with his card anyway. So he can't even be lowered by his own commandment, which is smart. But um, there's not that many characters with cleave cards in the game, uh, so a lot of people would actually get affected by this. I guess if you ran him with, like, Festival Blue Cusack, the regular one, not the demon one, um, it could be okay, maybe, but even then, that character is long gone in the meta now. So... Now we have Ominous Nebula Zeldris. I think this was a, a huge letdown for a lot of people. This is a really cool character. Love the aura on him. I love his outfits. His outfits are great. Uh, they gave him this cool Halloween costume that's sort of supposed to be reminiscent of uh, Skull and Hati. But um, people were really wanting... I, I, I think a lot of people thought that whenever Ominous Nebula Zeldris came to the game, he was going to be a festival for one. He did not end up becoming a festival. He's even... I would consider him to be a little bit more exclusive. They don't really throw him in too many banners. They do it from time to time, of course, but uh, I I think that there was like a weird thing where people thought that he was going to be a seasonal character. They didn't end up adding him to the SSR tickets, and for that, <laughs> talking about that, they haven't added basically anyone to the SSR tickets in a long time, but um, I... I can't remember. I don't even know if he's considered to be a seasonal character. If you know that information, let me know. But um, his stats and everything are fine. He's actually not a terrible character. The fact that he has an infect, that's AoE, is actually really good. I love having an infect character on my teams considering that Red Tarmia link is just rampant. Everyone has it, so... It's really good to be able to shut that down. Um, but uh, his Pulverized card is okay at best. It can deal some decent damage. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. I do like Pulverized skills from time to time, but you know, if they ult rush really early, you're going to have to either ult rush with him to get enough orbs to remove it with the Pulverized card or you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, and then his ultimate is a weak point AoE with a staggeringly low modifier on it. Like, obviously, it's three times damage to debuffed enemies. He does have an AoE infect, so it's pretty easy to put the debuffs on the enemies to begin with. But this thing just really doesn't do that much damage. I know that mine's only 2-6, so that has a little bit to do with it. But even when people were showcasing the character whenever he first came out at 6-6, six, six, he was still incredibly underwhelming. Um, his passive is okay. I don't really... I kind of wish that they hadn't have made him PvP only for one, but I mean, I, they really don't want you to be like big stat boosting in certain, you know, <laughs> if like uh, content and everything, which is fair, I guess. But for every applicable ally on the battlefield, increases those allies' attack related stats by 4% and decreases all enemies' attack by 6%. So, I mean, he's not terrible, but the problem is, is that he ended up being a little bit more supporty which people weren't super excited about. I don't really mind that, to be honest. I'm fine with having like good support units and stuff on a, on a character. But when it came down to it, he was he was in the game for really not that long. Like he was in the game for like a couple of months and then he just immediately got replaced by the fact that the the Demon King unit is in Zeldris's body, which makes it to where you can't run Demon King with Zelda. So there's actually not even a point in running this character anymore because even if you're like, "Okay, I want the Infect." Demon King has a new form of Infect that has a different name uh, that also stat lowers the enemy as well. So why would you <laughs> why would you use this one if the other one is just you know so much better? Um, it's just it doesn't make any sense. I think that there's still a couple of opportunities that we have to get new Zeldrises. Like we don't technically have a green version of the base Zeldris, like the red and blue Zeldris. Um, they didn't make a green version of that one and 
from time to time we can get um, like seasonal variants of old commandments and stuff. So we got like the uh, the Valentine's Day uh, derriere that was green or uh, blue, and then we got the Valentine's Day version of Malaskula, who is green, um, and those were like the third commandment, you know, that we needed for um, those specific uh, you know characters. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's been other versions of Zeldris that have come out since then, and I just don't know that it's really <laughs> gonna gonna matter that much uh, if we end up getting another one because like for like Blue Shin for example came out not that long ago and although he's not terrible he's just a really old unit and his stats are really bad and that's one of the biggest things kind of holding him back so it's just it ends up being this weird scenario where like you kind of want to use the unit and Blue Shin actually has a decent kit he's actually not that bad. But the fact that um, <laughs> the fact that he's just got such old stats and everything makes him really, really hard to use. He lowers your CC a ton. His damage is abysmal. His cards are just not great, um, and it just doesn't really like make sense to run that character nowadays. So um, I don't know. I think that if they don't end up doing the green one, they could potentially make a new. Zeldris from the next movie that's supposed to come out. So they're they're finishing up the Seven Deadly Sins storyline when it comes to Grand Cross right now. Uh, I think the next chapter that comes out will be the last chapter for the entire anime because it has to do with Chaos Arthur and everything. And then the second movie, which the first movie is Prisoners of the Sky, um, and it wasn't even canon. So I mean, they did add that to the game, of course. But the second movie is Cursed by Light, where they're doing more stuff with uh, I think the the Supreme Deity is in that movie. I, it's been a while since I've watched it. But um, it, uh, it's okay. It's it's not a bad movie, but there are some spots in it where um, Melly and Zeldris actually kind of partner up together, which is kind of nice, and you get to see a little bit of, like, you know, combo action between the two brothers, which is pretty cool. And uh, I think a lot of people are actually kind of interested in that. There's a couple of other characters from the movie that would be really cool to get. But um, I, I assume that the reason why they haven't added the movie content to the game yet is because it actually takes place after the anime ends. So, just my assumption, but I'm kind of hoping that they're not going to just skip the movie outright. I guess it's very possible. I think that they're wanting to jump into the Four Nights of the Apocalypse content. But um, I think that there's a chance that we could still end up getting that movie as well. And that would honestly be really, really cool. Because the movie is is cool i like the movie and uh <laughs> i i think that there's some really neat characters that we could end up getting from it which would be uh you know pretty enjoyable just to have in the game because uh, hopefully i don't know if they would make him like an ominous nebula zeldris variant character like if he would be the same stats and everything that's bad well i guess it's not that bad um actually we kill him with Esterosa, so he'll lose an ultimate move gauge. Nice. Um, but uh, I don't know if they're going to try to make him like a variant of this character, like uses the same costumes and everything. I would assume they would make him a new Zeldris with like a whole different like set of like stats and costumes and stuff like that, if they even do it. But there's also, um, I think, Dubs, and I can't remember the other guy's name. There's like two... Uh, there's like the old king of the giants and the one of the older uh, fairy kings in the movie as well. I think a lot more people are probably interested in seeing those characters get units in the game instead of maybe getting the Zeldris. But um, I don't know. Honestly, the giants and fairies need the support, so I kind of want them over Zeldris. But I guess they could, you know, depending on how many characters they want to add from the movie they could potentially add more than just two but uh with the last movie that we got they added elat and then they added belly on which elat went on to get two extra characters so she has three different characters in the game which is kind of surprising considering how uh, irrelevant the character kind of is as far as like seven deadly sins goes but um i don't know let me know your thoughts and opinions on zeldris because i really do like zeldris a lot he's really really cool he was you know the i guess technically the second leader of the the ten commandments and uh, the boy got shafted. He just really doesn't get any good units, and it's very unfortunate because he's a cool character. I'd love to see him actually get some use, but uh, it's all Demon King now, unfortunately. So either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video a little bit more 
talkative, I guess, a little bit less focused on like actual gameplay, but uh, just wanted to talk about some different topics and stuff. I've got some other ones that I kind of want to make as well, but it uh, just depends on, you know, if there's actual content to make on, uh, you know, the game whenever I get around to it. So yeah, either way, I will see you guys later. Have a good one.